But the big story this Friday afternoon, the latest shakeup in Arizona politics. Arizona's senior sen senator Kirsten Sinema says she is no longer a member of the Democratic Party after nearly 20 years. Yeah, Sinema's transformation from a liberal to a moderate independent means Arizona could see a three-way race for the Senate in 2024. Team Tall's Joe Dana was with the senator today at a Mesa food bank and has more on her decision. A lot of voters are probably not surprised to learn that Senator Kirsten Sinema is now officially an independent. The question moving forward is how it will impact her ability to get things done in Washington and how voters will respond. It's technically known as no party preference. That's the box Senator Kirsten Sinema checked on the Arizona Secretary of State's website, making her one of three U.S. senators now considered independents. My stand today is about joining the many Americans and lots of Arizonans, in fact, the majority of registered voters, who don't believe that any political party fits them perfectly. The decision prompting mixed reactions. A spokeswoman for President Joe Biden saying, we have every reason to expect that we will continue to work successfully with her. Arizona's Democratic Party chair said she has shown she answers to corporations and billionaires, not Arizonans. We've worked together to help. Sinema's position as a swing vote the last two years in the Senate has drawn ire and applause. She scaled back President Biden's efforts on prescription drug reform and helped derail attacks on the ultra-wealthy at the same time receiving big donations from the pharmaceutical and financial industries. Cinema is credited with helping to secure legislation for climate change and infrastructure, although they were pared down to Cinema's demands. She helped move forward bills on same-sex marriage, and she secured billions of dollars for southwestern states for drought resistance funding. Folks can count on me to keep pounding the drum in Washington, D.C. about Arizona's needs. An ASU professor who researches voter behavior says it's tough to know how Cinema's decision will resonate with voters if she runs again in two years. You know, when we have looked at voting patterns of independence over time, over multiple elections, what we find is a great deal of unpredictability and volatility. Most young voters are not registering with either party. But I think what you're seeing is that, you know, in a time of this hyperpolarization, uh, people are, are leaving the parties. And that in and of itself... Uh, should be a wake-up call to the two major parties. Right now, Cinema's working with a Republican senator on an immigration bill to add border security and provide a pathway for Dreamers. Now, I was really proud that Arizona voters just a few weeks ago said that Dreamers could now get in-state tuition at college. But I want to make sure that when they finish school, they can get jobs, build families, and live the American dream. If the new independent senator could rally enough support, it would be a monumental accomplishment. Senator Sinema's message asking Arizonans to volunteer at food banks and find ways to give back this holiday season is personal. Uh, she grew up in an environment where food and shelter were not a guarantee. It is one reason why her story has resonated with so many Arizonans. Joe Dana, 12 News.